We're here at the first school board meeting since the Neshaminy teachers declared a strike. This is the first time teachers, parents, and school board members will be able to voice their opinions on the strike in one open forum. Well, teachers going on strike this week just show you that they do not have in their heart the uh, ability of dealing with children and dealing with a contract all in one shot here. They truly are hurting over 9,000 students. Well, the impasse is truly, they, we have been 100% uh, clear with our numbers. They come up with alleged numbers that they save millions of dollars on. When they did a health care change, they showed that they, well, should I say they're publishing, that they, they save $800,000. But if you put in what they call the uh, Me Too clause, that will cost the district just under a million dollars. So that savings that they're showing they saved did cost us more money on one end. So that's truly not a savings. What do you think the mood is going to be in the meeting tonight? We have a lot of irate parents, upset taxpayers that these teachers do not want to pay for their health care. And on top of that, they're, they're getting a retirement check for $27,500. Since uh, the CBA of 2002, we spent about $34 million just on retirement bonuses going out the door. How has the teacher strike affected your family so far? Well, so far the kids have been home for two days uh, playing video games uh, on TV. Um, I guess parents are trying to make the best of it. It's not a great situation. Um, certainly they would rather be in school. How do you see the strike affecting teachers in the classroom? Well, they're missing important time that they need. I mean, it's right after Christmas, and you've only had the kids for a week, so you're coming back, and you're trying to get back into the routine. They come back from strike, and they're going to have to reintegrate themselves into that routine. They're going to lose a whole other week, even though they're back in that classroom. So it's going to be hard for them, especially the little kids. So. How do you think this strike as a whole is affecting the community? It's pretty, um, it's splitting a lot of us. I mean, I had a community meeting last night that was pretty split. I mean, we had some teachers there and some very angry parents. How has this strike affected your education so far? Well, all the stuff that we were supposed to be learning, we're going to have to relearn. Um, and not to mention, before we start learning new stuff, they're going to have to reteach us the old stuff so we get the stuff that we were just, we just learned because most of us are going to forget before we start learning new stuff. How do you think it's going to affect your school year? Well, we're probably going to have to go into June 15th at least, maybe unless there's a second strike, which they're talking about, to June 30th, which they can't go past according to Act 88. So how do you see this affecting your grades and your, your, your friends and everything like that? Well, I, I, see, I don't really see it affecting my grades. I see it affecting um, on our education. Uh, the PSSAs are going to be a big problem because the PSSAs are coming up in March, and uh, we're not going to be able to do it correctly and we can't really postpone the PSSAs so you know it is what it is. How has the strike affected your family so far? Well so far it's only been one day of the strike and um, my son's already eager to go back to school. I mean he enjoyed one day off which was nice but he wants to be back in the classroom. He wants to be learning and he wants to be with his friends. So that's pretty much at this point how he feels. Um, it's affecting me because I want him in the classroom. I don't want this to affect his education. So the sooner we can reach an agreement and get the kids back in school, the better. How do you see the strike affecting other families? Is it a similar situation for them? Well, I'm fortunate that I'm a stay-at-home mom. So I'm home with the children. Um, I have twin boys, too. So I have three boys at home, and I'm lucky to be there with them. Of course, we're very disappointed that the teachers chose to strike. I have two children in the district, a uh, sophomore at the high school and a eighth grader at Bequesting Middle School. And, you know, of course, now they're home. They, you know, they may think it's great, but really they want to be in school with their friends. So, you know, we've had to make some arrangements at home. My wife works part-time, but we'll manage. Now that you heard what people have had to say about the teacher strike, we want to know what you think. From the school board meeting in the Chamonix School District, I'm Nicole Jeanette for Patch and Metrofor.com.